right, we've just turned on to the C13 slash F506, uh, I think it is, slash M something, so basically the C13. Another beautiful morning. The sunrise wasn't great in camp, but it's beautiful now. Going through here, the grass is really growing nicely. We must have had more rain here than in obviously Luderitz area. This is really beautiful. Nice to see it so green. I think in the video it's probably showing it more of a, a creamy white. It's lovely. Here's a farm camp along that uh, road on our way to Orbez. It's on a C13. Uh, I'm not sure kilometer wise from it's about 58 kilometers from Helmerinhausen, okay. south of okay. Helmerinhausen. To roll. To rule. To rule. Whatever. To rule. Right, this is the turn off the D707. Uh, we've been this road. The road wasn't as good. But goes, it's a but it's a very scenic road, eh? Goes through the Nam um, Nowcliff Park. There's a board with a whole lot of campsites along the road, yeah. Celsius 10 kilometers, Hunts per base 30 kilometers, Numus 40, Koi Massis 90 kilometers, Landsberg 106 kilometers. And Namtip is along this road as well. I think Namtip is as well. Yep. Turn right on the D707. Left. I mean left. Coming up to a structure on the left here that somebody has built. Don't know what it's all about. Maybe he was bored staying out here and decided to build it. If anybody knows what it's about, any Namibians, maybe just pop it in the comments. Let us know what it's all about. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thanks to everybody that has subscribed. Great to hear from you all. This is 55 k's from here. This is the C27 uh, and Cessrum 343 k's. 
scenery here has changed almost completely. It's almost like the Natal Midlands in South Africa. Bit of water even still running here. Gate lady, Mark Webb. Okay, from the gate to the farmhouse is three kilometers and then to the campsite is one, one and a half, one and a half k's. So it's a campsite off the beaten track. is perfectly drinkable. Hmm. Yeah. This is coming into the campsite now. We're here all by ourselves. Right, this is the campsite at Orbez. Uh, the farm Basically, they've been farming in this area for over a hundred years. And this farm they bought 20 years ago. Uh, of course, with COVID and everything, it's knocked them back a huge amount. So please try and support them if you can. If you're on this road and you need somewhere to camp, Lovely clean ablutions, hot water shower, drinkable uh, water, drinkable water, tap on the site, no Wi-Fi, um, no electricity, no electricity, a rustic campsite, but really, really nice. We're going to go and park under a big tree in the shade. Each campsite's got shade. And a tap. And a tap. This is another one of the campsite. Going into the ablutions.
hand basin, toilet, shower cubicle, kitchen wash up area and that's directly behind the kitchen wash up area and that's where we parked Rose just busy making something to eat we're not done coupling tonight we're going to leave coupled up because of the gravel net we don't want to put that back on for a one night stop chicken and mayonnaise salmis toasted and a piece of pie left over from last night and a good cup of tea
the Mirage Resort and Spa. Looks, looks a bit like a castle. We're coming up to Cesrum. Cesrum Canyon is on the left hand side here, not too far. Parking geckos in the background. Right, it's just stuck behind the, the dune. 